Hello, welcome to Toffee TV. It is a new show. It's a new show for you Premier members called Toffee Tenable. And our first guest, our first victim on this is Jack Ma, the Hello. Jack Mandu. I mean, don't know why you're clapping, but fair play, Jack. Oh, fair play. It's all good. So basically, the rules are, Jack, I have got a, a category for you. You've got to get, it's got 10 spaces in. You have to fill it. Those 10 spaces need to be filled um, with answers to the said category. You get three lives. Once you've done your three lives, you are eliminated. Obviously, if you get all 10, you're tenable, and we give you the clap. What do we win, though? Okay. You win the hearts and minds of a nation. I've already got them. What do we win? I'm not sure you have. So this is your opportunity. This okay. is your opportunity. So we are going to begin. And your first category on Toffee Tenable, the first ever Toffee Tenable, Jack, is to name the top 10 Everton goal scorers in the Premier League era. In the Premier League era, okay. So, so don't just start throwing names out. Let's have a little bit of, you know, have a little think where you want to start. So give us a chance. So come on, your okay. first one you want to throw in there. First one I'm throwing in there. Well, obviously we have to um, not include a couple of big score and Everton players from years gone by because we go going Premier the, League era. Exactly. So I'm going to go in strong at the start. Okay. I'm going to go with Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Let's see if Dominic Calvert-Lewin is a tenable answer. Ooh, it's building. It's oh. building. Oh. It's building. Oh. It's, building. Oh. it's building. It's going. It's going. Number yes. Three. You're in. Right. You're in. On the board. Dominic Calvert-Lewin is a tenable answer. He's number three in Evans' top Premier League goal scorers. Next one, Jack. Going to go with a slightly riskier one now because I want to keep some of my, my okay. top answers Just in case. when I need them. Okay. I'm going to go with a man that was prolific for a period in his Everton days, but obviously injuries slowed him down to a degree and he wasn't at Everton for ages. I'm going to go okay. with the Yak. The Yak. The Yak. The Yak man. You're going the with yak the Yak man. man. Let's see if Yakubu is a tenable answer. He's on the board. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Oh, oh, I thought Jack. the thing meant he was on the board. I got no, excited. No, no, Jack, man, oh. dude, has lost a life. Lost a life. No, Yakubu, 25 Premier League goals for Everton Football Club. Should Injury have went a bit higher with that. Well, I mean, he got 21, I think, in his first season and obviously snapped his Achilles and was never the same after that. So okay. you have two lives remaining, Jack, and you've got nine players to get. So, okay. okay. Right. Give me another one. I'm going to scrap that strategy. It's a terrible <laughs> strategy. I'm going in strong. I'm going with Romelu Lukaku. Romelu Lukaku you know is. In fact, he's on the board. Romelu Lukaku, a tenable answer. Let's have a look. Here we go, Jack. Here we go. Feeling good, Jack? Feeling confident. Bing! There he is. There Number you one. go. Romelu Lukaku on the is Everton's all time record Premier League goal scorer. I think it's 68. Premier League goals for Romelu Lukaku. Well done, Jack. Another one on the board. Jack, I'm going to ask you for another one. Now, the difficulty here is I've obviously went in with the high score and answers, so it's tougher okay. to get a gauge of what falls into the, the number 10, the number yeah, 9, yeah. the number 8. But I thought maybe Yakubu. I thought he had a couple more than that. I thought he yeah. might have crept into the 30s. Yeah, I'll be honest, I was a little bit surprised it was so low for Jack I, in my head. Because he had such a strong opening mm. season, I mm. thought it, it would be like you. In the Obviously, we knew he, he didn't hit those levels again. No, but, no. You know, he'd, he'd have grabbed a few. He'd creep a couple more in. Mm. I'm struggling. Early doors, I'm struggling. But I'm going to go with a consistent goal scorer during his okay. time at Everton. And one I hope will fill one of those... Lower spots, I'm going to go with Tim Kale. Tim Kale. Is Tim Kale a tenable answer? Let's have a look. Mm. Oh, no, mm. it's not looking good. Mm. It's gone too high. Mm. No. Mm. <gasps> Ding! Tim oh, Kale it is a tenable answer. 56 Premier League goals for Evan. Exactly the same as Dominic Calvert-Lewin. As time Oof. of recording, he's there. 
k interesting okay so i think the strategy going for players who were at everton for an extended period mm. and you got consistent decent goals might be the way to go okay I'm thinking Marouane Fellaini, but I'm not quite sure. Because now we had that one great season he for Everton where season. he got into... But was he always operating at that level? Only you can decide whether Only you Only I think. can decide, and I'm going to decide to go with Marouane. Marouane Fellaini. Is Marouane Fellaini a tenable answer? Let's have a look. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Jack. Oh, oh, Jack. Oh. Jack. Down to Marouane one Fellaini is not a tenable answer. Down to one life. You were down to one on life, board. and you've got seven players seven to get. Seven left to fill. I'm not winning the hearts and admiration of people. <laughs> it doesn't feel family. like you are. But what you're doing for the game in general is you're building the tension. Because now, this is like sudden. You cannot make another mistake, or you, you've lost the game. I feel like I will make another mistake I and lose the game. Well, I don't know, because I, I feel I'm confident in you. I'm confident, Jack, that you can do something. Come on. You've got seven to go. Just think right. of some goal scorers. Let's Come on. think Everton strikers. Let's think Andy Johnson. Could be one, could be on the board. Yelovich, uh, no, he, he had one spell, didn't he? I, mm. I can't see him having over 25 goals. Andy uh, Yakubu was 25. 25. And he didn't make the board, so no. we're looking above that. I don't think it'll take that much more than that to get onto those early spots. So Andy Johnson could be a decent shout. I'm struggling. I'm really struggling. See, I can't give you any help. I feel like you should. Okay, uh, the only hint I'm going to give you is Andy Johnson's not on the board. Andy Johnson Great. got about 13 goals for Everton in the Premier League, so... He got more than 13, but it wasn't. Yeah. But he didn't get loads. So that's the only hint I'm going to give you. Think about, just, you need to think of, like, everything. Think of the whole picture. Think of all the players. I'm trying to think I mean, that's, all that's the quite players, helpful, yeah. Ned. Think of the players, yeah. Makes a, makes a difference. Duncan Ferguson, surely. Go on, he's got to be on Duncan there. Ferguson. Duncan. Is Duncan Ferguson a tenable answer? Oh, Wait. Yes, yes, he is. Everton's second highest Premier League goal scorer. Big dunk. Hanging on there. Calvert-Lewin chasing him down. So, state of players, you've got one life left and yeah. you've got six Everton players to get. You've got four. You've got the top four yeah. positions on the board. So, come on. So I've, I've got Let's the have big a little thing. You've got it. the big hitters, so you maybe... You know, think around that. Maybe think outside the box slightly. Maybe not. The irony is you've got to be in the box to score goals and finish on this mm. board. So it's up to you. Come I'm on. Re I'm really struggling. So I'm, I'm trying to think before my time. I'm just trying to think of of names. There's definitely one in your time. That's the definitely last Definitely one. You've had three. I'm not going to give you any more. What constitutes is in my I time? feel as though Ped's looking at you disappointed here. So I feel like I want you to step up. Looking at I think so. I think so. I feel like my family, even though they won't even see this, I think I'll get home. I'm going to get you the link look to give to your family face so they can look. To express their disappointment. I think your dog would be disappointed so far. Uh, my dog's stupid, so I don't okay. care what he thinks. Okay, fair um, play. <sighs> Let's, we'll go in with Rooney, so we've got an answer. You're going for go Wayne on. Rooney. Go on, then. Is Wayne Rooney a tenable answer? No. No. Jack's game is over. Jack, 40% you got. I am disappointed. I am Fresh absolutely disappointed with it. I'm going to give you one before we start doing reveals that you should have 100% got. Because he got double figures every year for Everton in recent times. Pombo. The ah. Al Pidgeon. Richarlison. He is, is number seven. seven in Everton's all-time record Premier League goal scorers. One, one section you missed off was who, who took penalties for Everton. Because that would have got them on the board. Well, I considered Leighton Baines, but I thought it's sure Leighton, he's not. If the game's over, but it would Leighton Baines have been a tenable answer? He was number nine. There's another penalty taker that was slightly before your time. 
but he did manage Everton's under-21 side for quite a bit as well. Left back, big fella. Unsworth. David Unsworth. This David Unsworth, the tenor balance in Ed. Bing. Below Richarlison. There's a shirt right behind you. Oh, who I Christ. think might be a tenable oh, answer. No. Ned, let's have a look. Bing, number five. And Ned, there is two to go. If I said to you the words, took a penalty off someone and then missed it, who would you go no, for? No, surely Morales isn't on there. Ned, no, is Kevin Morales a tenable answer? Bing. Oh, Same no. as Leighton Baines. I think they've got 29 goals each. And the final one is a player who is now a commentator, co-commentator, midfield player, played for Everton for 10, 11 years. You will have seen him playing for Everton. He's now does co-commentary. Seen him played for Everton, now mm. does co-commentary. Mm. Midfield player. I'm not sure. No. Do you, want to, do you want me to... In fact, I won't say it. Ned, reveal who is number six in Everton's all-time Goal scoring Premier League players. Leon uh, Osman. He was another one I thought of Osman, but once once I didn't get Yakubu, I thought right. Your I've, I've went. Be looking at the face easier, and it it was gone. I discounted too many players. Can I go again? I got. I feel good now. Can we go again with the same question? With the same question, yeah. you think you'd be all right like with it? I'd get at least eight now. I think you'd be all right with it. Right, you wanted to go again, and obviously we're not going to give you a tenable list of one we've just done. So I'm going to give you no. an opportunity to redeem yourself, okay? With our second tenable list. Okay. Right, toffee tenable. So the second one is Everton's all-time Premier League most assists. Okay. Okay. So okay. obviously following a similar strategy, thinking of players over that those eras, just have a think. Okay? okay. So we're going to begin. So this category now is the top assisters in the Premier League era for Everton Football Club. So, okay. Jack, give me the name of your first tenable for the top assisters in Premier League history for the Toffees. Going in strong, going in with a big name, someone who should be guaranteed, Leighton Baines. Leighton Baines. Is Leighton Baines a tenable answer? <sighs> oh, is he, is he, is it going to catch him? What? Bing! Oh. Yes, Jack. Number one, <laughs> numero uno, 54 assists okay. for Leighton Baines in the Premier League. So 54 is the top. I think we will get some we fall some way shorter than that. Okay. Okay. So what's the second name you want to see if they are a toffee tenable for this one, Jack? A mm. little bit of a risk because obviously he played for Everton in two different spells. Mm. But I'm going to go with Leighton Baines' partner in crime, Stephen Pina. Stephen Pina is... Stephen Pina, what a player, by the way. Is Stephen Pina a toffee tenable answer? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. Bing! Yes, Jack. Stephen Pina is third on the list with 35 Premier League assists for Everton. So that's nearly 20 less than Baines. Mm. And, he's, and he's number three and he's on number the list. Three. So we are looking at a big, big drop off there. Mm. Okay. Jack, I'm going to ask you for the third attempt on Toffee Tenable. My heart wants to go with another left back, which is Luca Dean. He was getting those numbers, but mm. he didn't. He weren't at Everton for that long. And obviously. You know, certain managers didn't fancy him as much as others. So I'm going to go for longevity. I'm going to go for someone who was in that team week in, week out for years. Someone who I didn't name in the goal scorers list, but very much should have. I'm going to mm. go with Kings of Leon Osman. So you said you were going with Luca Dean and you've now gone to Kings of Leon Osman. That's fine. So Leon Osman is your is an answer here for the That's tenable. What I said, yeah. Right. Is Leon Osman on the board for the most assists? Jack. Are you excited, Jack? Not really. You should be, because he's number five on the list. Leon Osman, 27 Premier League assists for Everton. You're three from three here, Jack, on this one. Okay. You're doing much better. Much better. Still got your three lives. So Seven to get. Number five at 27. It's 
there's going to be a lot of players now who are all around similar numbers, aren't Maybe. there? Um, let's go in with Tim Cahill. Tim Cahill. So, Jack, you are saying Tim Cahill yeah. is going to be on that board as a top Everton Premier League assister? Yes. Okay, is Tim Cahill a toffee tenable? Yeah. Oh, now we've gone too far. Bing! He's number four. Oh, Tim Cahill. Success. 28, 28 Premier League assists. So one more than Leon Osman. Okay. 28 okay. Premier League assists. Very good, Jack. Very good. Very okay. good. You are, what are you? Four from four, are you? Four from four. Excellent. Great. Okay. okay. Name of your fifth Toffee Tenable. I'm going to go back to a name I mentioned earlier. I'm going to go with Luca Dean. Luca Dean. Is Luca Dean a Toffee Tenable? No. No. Ding. No. Luca Dean isn't on the board. Luca Dean got 18. Premier League assists for Everton. He should have had a lot more people miss sitters and no beds chased them off the club, uh, a.k.a. Rafa. Uh, okay, so you've lost your first life. Okay. You've lost your first life, but you're doing well. I think you're doing well. You're in a stronger position than you were on your last Most toffee tenable. Okay, so give me the name of the next one you want to try as a toffee tenable. Well, number five was 25, weren't it? And Luca Dean of 18 hasn't made it on the board, so... We're looking around that mark, and I'm going to go with Mikel Arteta. Mikel Arteta, Arteta, the Arsenal manager. Yeah. I mean, it's bold, Jack. But it is he's... bold, but you are going for Mikel Arteta. Is he a toffee tenable, Ned? Oh. oh, Jack. Yes, he is. He is number two in the all time Premier League assisters. 40 assists. In the Premier League era for okay, Mikel Arteta. So, got it, the comebacks. you have got the top five Everton assisters, I think. If you just look, if uh, yeah, we have the top five assisters. You've got two lives left, five names to get. Okay. Okay, give me the name of your next Toffee Tenable. I'm going to go a little bit rogue. I'm going to say Gerard De La Feu. Not the longest period, but no. he was decent value for an assist okay. in his day. Okay, so... You're going for Gerard De La Feu. Is Gerard De La Feu a toffee tenable? Of course he isn't. As much as I love Jerry, and I do, I love Jerry. Still love him now. He is not a toffee tenable. Gerard De La Feu, 11 Premier League assists in the Premier League era. You've got five names to get. You've got one life remaining. You've done better than you did on the goal scorers. You won up on that. You're at fifty yeah. percent here, but now you have got to go some. Okay. So come on, think. Going to spitball. A think of like names. longevity and things Coleman like that. His shout never been massive for providing assists, but he's got the longevity. Um, Richarlison, maybe if he was more of a goal scorer. Morales is a possibility. Okay, you've spat four names at me. Yeah. Are you picking any of them? I'll go with Seamus. Seamus Coleman. Is Seamus Coleman a toffee tenable? Jack. Oh, no. Jack. Yes, he is, Jack. Number six. Seamus Coleman has 26 Premier League assists 26. for Everton Football Club in the Premier League era. He could add to it, of course, still. Very much part of Everton's first team squad. Well done. You've got four names to get. You have got one life okay. in which to use. So we need less than 26, but more than at least 18, because Luca Dean can get onto the board. That is that the, that's, that's what you're working with, my mate. I find it hard to believe Morales getting 20 or more. He did take set pieces at times, though, didn't he? McNeil hasn't been here long enough. Go on, I'll go in with Morales. You go on with Kevin Morales. Into Kevin. Kevin Morales is Kevin Morales a toffee tenable? Oh yes, he Take is. Come on, number eight, Kevin Morales, twenty. Premier League assists okay. for Everton Football Club. He's number eight. 
two to go, one life go. left. Okay. Jack, Jack, man, do give me the name of your next toffee tenable. I'm struggling <clears> for names now, so I'm gonna see if I can take inspiration from around me. Okay. Um... Ned actually gave me this one today, straight off the bat. Ross Barkley. Ross Barkley. Is that the name you're going for? Yeah. So please. this is your final life, and your asking is, Ross Barkley, is it a toffee tenable? Let's go three names to get. Is Ross Barkley one of those three names? Hmm. Hmm. Mm, oh. Jack Mandu. No, he isn't. Ross Barkley has 18 Premier League assists for Everton Football Club. Okay, you've done better. It was a better You've effort. ended up with 70% there. Listen, people often say, eh, you had about a 7 out of 10, so I'll take that. There you go. There you go. Um, okay, let's fill in the blanks then. One name I was surprised he didn't go for. He was on the list of the top goal scorers. In fact, he was at number one. Romelu Lukaku. What number is Romelu Lukaku, Ned? Bing! Number seven. I number seven. Lukaku, how many 23 Premier League assists I for Rom. I thought he had that many. Mm, set up a lot. Okay, there's two spaces left. This number nine got the same assists as Kevin Morales. He played under David Moyes. He didn't have any hair. And it wasn't Lee Carsley. It was the lunatic, that is, Thomas Gravison. What number is he? Bing! Number nine. Thomas Gravison, 20 Premier League assists. The final tenable. This one surprised me. This one did surprise me. You mentioned them before, but I think you mentioned them in the goals rather than the assists. But it did surprise Yacubu. me. No. Nope. No. Not Yakubu. He had Curly Air. Fellaini. Marouane Fellaini. Marouane Fellaini. Number 10 in Everton's all time Premier League assists with 19 assists. I see, I considered Fellaini because I thought, you know, I'd be knocking them down in the mm. box at times and that. But once I realised working around number 20, I just thought like, it was Too a many. bit of a long yeah, shot. Yeah, I'll be honest, I I'd never, would never have considered Fellaini. He had uh, 19, Ross Barkley, Luca Dean both had 18. <sighs> Dwight McNeil's got 11 already, which is good for him. Dominic Calvert Lewin, 16. Gilfie, 16. Phil Neville, 14, and Richarlison, 13. So, Della Feu had 11 in the Premier League. Gary Naismith had two more than Della Feu, which is interesting. There you go. That's the end of our first episode of Toffee Tenables. Ped is the next guest when we do this again. So, that'll be interesting. I expect a stronger performance. I won't lie from Ped. But Jack did get better. 40% on the top Premier League goal scorers was poor. Pressure. No, it was Pressure. poor. It was poor. Because especially with Charleston, he's like I your know. he's like the main go to in the last well, few I years. Was, I, I just needed to get on the grass and Is get that the what it nuts was? And the nuts and bolts. And I came back and I came back stronger. Yeah, you did. You were much better in the assist. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. How did you do? You should be playing along with these. Play along at home and all that palaver. We will see you next time on Toffee Tenables.